Well, obviously no one is happy to be in the current situation. But I think one of the great things about Jersey and our digital infrastructure and our digital skills is people have been able to work from home relatively seamlessly. Schools have been able to keep in touch with students in terms of keeping teaching going. People have been able to communicate with loved ones and they've been able to be entertained. And that's really down to the fact that we have an amazing infrastructure with our 100% fiber network built by JT, operated by some amazing telecoms companies who've really supported the whole island adopt to remote working and remote living. Uh, but not only can we support our existing students, we've been lucky in that we've been able to go out and support education for six dormers across the island. So we built a six week course to introduce those year 12 and 13 students to a whole range of digital topics, but more importantly, to bolster their CVs to show what did they do uh, during lockdown. And what it's done is really demonstrate the facilities and infrastructure we've got at the Digital Jersey Academy uh, and the amazing education offer that is out there. Many of us are seeing a sea change in the way we do business, in the way we talk to customers, in the way we engage with our colleagues, in the way we put our product and our companies and our ideas out there. So the aim of this challenge is to help those businesses firstly adapt to those changes and the people around us, but also to see some new innovation, to see some new products and services that are only possible now our lives have changed so completely. So we delivered a PPE management system. This is an online portal that allows the community and uh, hospital wards to be able to order PPE in a controlled, secure, reliable manner and is easy to use. We were pleased to help the State's Assembly to keep democracy running in Jersey. Using Teams, we were able to professionally and securely keep all the island's politicians connected and broadcasting live to the public. Unfortunately, we run an event each year called Prosperity Day, and the benefactors of that are the JSPCA and Philips Footprints. And whilst we haven't yet had the event, we've been able to share the funds that have been raised to date with them both, uh, and they desperately need those funds, as do many other charities. A lot of our small digital companies have helped get all sorts of businesses online, whether that is charitable projects like Feeding Our Frontline, whether that's been about helping retailers who've never done home delivery before be able to keep their business going, or even restaurants who've never had a takeaway business being able to keep some revenue flowing and allowing people to keep supporting local businesses. So the sole objective of Fetch was to create a free to use uh, local marketplace to allow businesses to get online uh, quickly and basically protect the local economy because there are lots of ways that technology can be used to automate some of the processes we have right now to address the challenges we have of coping with COVID-19.